guys tonight. Now, our next fighter, he's 33. He is from Cleveland. He's a crowd worker in the daytime. He's representing the Reds. Make some noise for Chris, the silent assassin. And they're ready to go. And then nose to nose here. And you can hear the crowd's response to that. Tension in the air. Kate's in the red, Morris in the blue. Kate's probing with the jab to the midsection. As Morris comes forward, ducks under the right hand. He's got to be careful not to duck too low, and you can hear the response. As the Morris right hand lands, but what it does is it fires Cates up with left and right, and they're going to check his glove there. And the crowd really responded to Cates firing back there. Big right uppercut from Morris, doesn't quite find the target. Nice work behind his jab this time, though. And then Cates, as he did before, comes flying back. It's more of a push there. Referee won't count that. Oh, he is. So it was a good shot. It landed clean then. I felt Cates slipped as he was coming forward, but it's definitely a count. And again, the jab from Morris as Cates comes forward. And there you saw why. As... Morris lands as Kate's coming forward, it doubles the impact. Oh, telegraphed that right, and Kate saw it coming, thankfully. But that stiff left is a good weapon for Morris. And again, as Kate's come forward, Morris responds. Kate's looking to the midsection there. And a good look at each other now in this opening round. And Morris comes over the top and you hear the response with that big right hand. Misses this time as Kate's come forward again and Kate's got the bit between his teeth now. And you can hear the response as he pushes forward double-handed. Good open round. Morris obviously with that knockdown in the early part of the round, but I think that Cates came back well and strongly towards the end of that first round.
So round two of a very even encounter so far. And both men lead with a stiff jab and it's Cates that lands. And he looks to push forward once more, but he's got to watch out for the right hand of Morris. Looking to stand his ground with Morris here in the second is Cates. And he's having better success because of it. Nice stiff jab from Morris again, though. And he pushes forward now. It's back and forward, this one. Very close indeed. Good body shot left hand, though, from Morris. Nice combination. And Cates looking to come over the top with that left hand of his own. And he lands it a second time. Morris ducks under it for the third time. It's more of a push than a punch there, and I think our referee's going to have a word with him about it, but he's interested in that left club. Yes, being warned for pushing there, quite rightly so as well. And away they go again. But this is, you've got to remember, after a 10-week training camp, so these men are still novices to the trade, so fair credit to them. They're going to make mistakes, but they're going to be honest mistakes. And again, both men happy to stand and trade. They've both had their successes here in the second round. This is a close round indeed. And Morris grimaces there as he walks onto the left hand of Cates. And throws his own. Pushing forward again. Big right hand misses from Cates. And then Morris misses with his own. And Cates comes flying forward. The right hand lands this time. And you can hear the crowd's response. And suddenly the re re crowd responds to Cates. Attack here. And he landed three good right hands there. Digging deep now, both men, and that was a much closer round. And I'm telling you, this one is very close going into the third. Very close indeed. So here we go with the third and final round. Who's got it to take this fight? I think it's very close. And Kate's pushing forward. And then Morris responds, it's been that sort of fight. And Morris ducking low and then coming back, but he actually comes back onto a right hand this time. And although he's pushing forward, Kate's is getting through well as Morris comes forward. And both men landing again, but suddenly it's the combinations from Cates that are causing the problems. Breathing heavily now, taking its toll this third round on both men, and the helmet comes off of Andy Morris. So Morris ready to go again. You've heard both corners say to the man, give everything now. They both know this is tight as well, but Cates has responded to his corner. And then Morris comes back again. Tit for tat, very evenly balanced this one. Well matched indeed. And the helmet again, frustrating for Morris. And away they go once more. Right to the bell, this is going to be close. Good jab from Cates, forces Moritz to steam forward. And then Cates looks to throw his left and rights again. And the helmet goes once more as Cates come flying forward. So the clock's ticking now here in the third. 
and Cates pushes forward once more. Morris responds. And right to the end, you hear the crowd respond as well. Oh, and a good left by Morris. And Cates looks to come back and suddenly Morris is all over the place. What a fight this one's been. So they go once more and Cates pushes forward again. Oh, and the helmet, you can see the frustration on Andy Morris's face. And they're throwing leather right to the end, both men. Cates backing up once more as Morris comes forward left and right. What a close fight. If I had to just come off the fence, maybe just the blue, but this is close indeed. So the result goes, I thought it might be just the other way, but the result is for the silent assassin, Chris Cates in the red corner. And you could see his response to that, a very close fight indeed. I feel sorry for Andy Morris, I would have felt sorry for Cates, it was that close. But it is the man from the red corner that evens this up, one fight apiece.